Chemistry Paper 2, AQA GCSE Chemistry Exam 2024, Combined Science Higher, Protected Topics. The first topic is the rate of reaction graphs and factor affecting reaction rate. This is a guaranteed topic in your exam. So for this topic, you need to know how to draw a graph when the rate changes. And remember that the line will be steeper if the rate increases, will be less steep if the rate decreases. And the highest concentration, which is reflected by this flat part of the line, which is the highest concentration of the product produced, will be exactly the same if you um, if there is a change in the temperature or use of a catalyst uh, or the surface area to volume ratio but it would be of a higher value only if you use more of the reactant you need to know how to calculate the rate of the reaction from the graph. They can either ask you to calculate the mean rate of change, or they could ask you to calculate the rate at a certain point of time where they give you the tangent and you just need to calculate the rate from the tangent. Also, you need to know the different factors affecting rate with the explanation. So temperature, which increases the rate with higher temperature, concentration of a solution. This is only for solution when we talk about concentration. Pressure in case of gases only. Surface area to volume ratio, if it increases, that increases the rate of the reaction. And the use of the catalyst. You should be able to use the collision theory to explain why these factors increase the rate of the reaction and also for catalyst is this is because of the increase in uh, the decrease in the activation energy uh, because the catalyst will provide an alternative pathway for the reaction Topic two is the reversible reactions and position of equilibrium. This is also a guaranteed topic in your exam. So in this topic, you should know what is meant by equilibrium and when will equilibrium be reached and the different factors affecting the position of equilibrium. That includes temperature and you should know which um, reaction, whether it's the forward or the reverse reaction is exothermic and which one is endothermic. Normally in your exam or in the question, they will tell you the forward reaction is either exothermic or endothermic. Then the concentration, effect of concentration, this is in case of solutions only. And the pressure, this is in case of gases only. And remember, if the same number of moles uh, are produced for both the products and the reactants, then the pressure will not affect the position of equilibrium. And finally, don't forget that the use of the catalyst will not affect the position of equilibrium because it will increase the rate of the forward reaction and reverse reaction at the same rate. They will mostly give you gaseous reaction and the most common one that shows in the exam or feature in the exam is the reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen to give you ammonia. Topic three is organic chemistry, and for organic chemistry, you only need to know about hydrocarbons. So you should know how to write a balanced equation for complete or incomplete combustion. The general formula for alkanes, which is Cn, H2, N plus 2. You should know how to name the first two four members of alkanes, because it's a guaranteed question where they ask you to name one of these members. The difference in the boiling points and the viscosity of alkanes with the increased size were both increased with the increased size of the alkane. Fractional distillation of crude oil and the separation of the different fractions. And formation of crude oil, this is a very common question as well in your exam. And then cracking, completing an equation for cracking. And if they ask you to complete an equation for cracking, and then it's almost certain that they're going to ask you the test for the double bond because one of the product of cracking is the production of an alkene, which has a double bond. Also, they could ask you why is cracking of long chain hydrocarbon is needed. Topic four, chemical analysis pure substance and formulation, and they could ask you about the um, how to identify whether a substance is pure or not using the melting point. 
The chemical test for gases, the most common gas that comes in the exam is carbon dioxide. However, there is no guarantee that they will not ask you about the test for hydrogen, oxygen, or chlorine. Paper chromatography is very common in the paper two chemistry exam, and you should know how to plan an experiment using paper chromatography. Gases in the atmosphere. Carbon footprint is a very common topic in your exam. You should know what is meant by carbon footprint, the sources of carbon footprint and the life cycle of any product. And here we're talking about the life cycle, not just the use of the product. So if they ask you, you should be able to talk about the carbon footprint during the extraction of the raw material, during the production process, during the transportation, uh, during the use, and finally during the disposal. Also, how to reduce carbon footprint and why there are limited measures that can be taken. The sources of greenhouse gases on Earth, which are carbon dioxide and methane, and what are the human activities that increase the carbon, the greenhouse gases. The effect of greenhouse gases, uh, uh, greenhouse gases on the average Earth temperature and atmospheric pollutants from fuel and how to reduce nitrogen oxide emission from cars. And finally, the changes in the different gases on Earth over the time, and that includes carbon dioxide, oxygen, and nitrogen. Topic six, using resources. You should be able to define finite resources and renewable resources. Extraction of copper from low-grade copper using phytomining and bioleaching is a very common question. And potable water, it's also a very common question in paper two for both fresh water and